Dear friends, the moment has come to announce the results of the contests which are traditionally held within the framework of the Congress. These are poetry and art competitions dedicated to Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. The idea of holding the contest was to draw attention to the name of Helena Petrovna Blavatsky and the secret doctrine of the representatives of the art sphere. The Helena Petrovna Blavatsky Poetry Contest has already become a good tradition. This year, more than 70 authors from Russian cities took part in it. We thank all the authors from Ulyanovsk, Sergei Posad, Rubtsovsk, Altai Territory, Rostov on Don, Taliati, Moscow, St. Petersburg, Krasnoyarsk, Tver, Yekaterinburg, uh, Engelsk, Lipetsk, Vladivostok, Chelyabinsk, Lesosibirsk, Samara, R- Korolev, Mazdok, Cherepovets, Belgorod, Dzerzhinsk, Sizran, Arzamas, Terzhok, Astrakhan, Kurgan, Nizhny, Novgorod, Yelenjig, Kimri, Sochi, and also from the foreign countries, the Ukraine, Belarus, um, Kazakhstan, uh, England, Thailand, Argentina, and Finland. We are grateful to the, all the poets who took part in the competition and dedicated their work to Helen Petrovna Blavatsky. The winners of the contests are two authors who scored the same number of points. These are Igor Ilyin, the poet and messenger Mazdok, we hand you the diploma of the winner. The gift of the three volumes of the book Kalachakra Tantra, signed um, and uh, congratulations by the author Vilena Sanjeevna Delikova Parfenovich. The diploma and the prize go to the city of Mosdok. Thank you very much, Igrelin. You are in touch with us. Please say something. Good evening to all participants of the Congress. Thank you for the evaluating my poem. Of course, I am very happy to win, and I would like to express my special gratitude to you, Evgenia Mikhailovna, for organizing this Congress. And you know, I watched the entire broadcast, and all this is like an undercurrent, an undercurrent which is still completely invisible, like the one current of the Gulf Stream, which is not visible, but has a very large impact. One day it will burst out and fly it flood the entire universe that is our Earth. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, Igor Ilyin, Mosdok City, one of the winners of the poetry contest dedicated to Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. Dear friends, according to the terms of the competitions, uh, we read the winner's poem for our delegates and participants of the grand opening. So, Igor Ilyin, Vesnik, dedicated to Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. The stars of the universe are generous, dispassionate are the light minds. Pure in heart is the messenger of compassion, burning like a torch in the dark. In the heyday of the great illusion, he was sent by the Lord himself, in the midst of devastation and grief, to be a beacon among the people. For them, the blind, the lost, the sleepy, to the valley of sorrows and tears, from the spheres of enlightened space, he brought the secret doctrine. Not a fairy tale in the middle of bad weather, not an obsession in the dark, a fighter for truth and happiness, passed like a giant on earth. Many thanks to you for such great words in honor of our great compatriot Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. According to the results of the poetry contest, the best works of all authors will be included in the collection, which will be published by the Congress of 2021 in Sochi. Dear friends, let me introduce another winner of the contest, Viktor Tuzlukov, the member of the Theosophical Society, Adyar, Theosophical Society of Russia, Bangkok, Thailand, the poem Unity, the single side of a boundless death, the ripple of a timeless, timeless foundation, hasn't yet revived the silence of the primeval waters in this invisible veil. In the dark, like the echo of a quivering string, the ray shines and the word appears. 
listening to the voice of the fiery call, the suns arise to, from the darkness of eternity. Live sparks of the cold fire, they lead their way, shining and ringing in the spiral vortex of an avalanche of fire. Preserving radiance of the morning in the hut, we will go together to the sunset of the day when our one meets us again. Dear friends, Timur Kolesnikov violin, winner of the international competitions, soloist of the Youth Symphony Orchestra conducted by Yuri Bashmet, congratulates the winners of the competition. He will perform the fantasies of Franz Waxman on a theme from the opera by George Bizet, Carmen. <laughs> Thank you. 
laureate of the international competitions Timur Kolesnikov, the city of Voronezh. This is how Voronezh land congratulates the participants and delegates of the Fourth International Theosophical Congress. These are the young talents that the Russian land gives birth to. Thank you very much.